David Dietz is with me, David Barnson is with me, Susan Lee is here, and so is Ashley Webster. Got to start with oil. Dietz, young man, I say that when gas comes down like this, it's a big plus for the economy, is it? Absolutely. 49-year low on unemployment. You've got 3.1% increase in wages. You got lower taxes. Now you got lower prices on your way to the mall. What, what's not to like here? You think? Well, we had uh, Andy. We had a, a guest on the show earlier who said that gas is going to come down another 10 to 15, yeah. maybe 20 cents a gallon. Could be, could be, but certainly this is a slower driving season, and historically gas prices bottom out around Thanksgiving, then start back up in the spring. David Barnes, I do recall you saying buy Exxon, and that was what, about a month ago? No, it was about 18% ago, but thanks for remembering. We're up 18% since I first said that to you. With oil tumbling like this? The whole fallacy is that the, these stocks are correlated to the price of oil and nothing else. They are upstream, midstream, downstream. They're making money in each part of the, uh, uh, the sequence, but they're natural gas levered, and Exxon was also so lowly priced. We started buying it at 70, it's in the low 80s. Will you still buy? Is it 80 as of right now? I'll be buying buy more it? of it. These guys Will? are dividend growers since the beginning of time. Okay, I've been put in my there place. You go. I so accept take that, that. Balance and I've been this put in my place. It won't be the last time, still. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> this is a blow to the administration. Yeah. A federal judge has blocked construction. If you remember that? The Keystone XL pipeline? He's blocked it. Why? He has. Well, he says there was no reason why, good reason, why the Trump administration overturned the ban on that uh, pipeline uh, permit. It would go from Canada's oil sands all the way through to Nebraska. It would cross in Montana and South Dakota. It was a federal judge in Montana said, no, 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 you have to go back and do more environmental reviews, look at the potential for oil spills, the impact on native population. This was no way should have been overturned, the ban that was in place in the Obama administration. So that's a blow for the, uh, for the pipeline that's taken it's forever to get completed. It's a blow for America. Completed. Come yeah, on. Canada you can't as well. do anything anymore in America. Right. <laughs> but in Canada as well, it's an $8 billion project, supposed yeah. to start next year. So they have been ramping up for it. So TransCanada, as you see, uh, down in the session. I'm determined to be positive, so I'll move on. Look at Disney. It is a Dow component. Parks, movies, doing very well indeed. David Barnson. I think that's a record high for Disney, 118. Or very, very close. Yeah, very that's close. Not, you, know, you know what I was looking close. at this morning? You know what Disney was after the financial crisis? $15. Good it's Lord. up 1,000% in the last 10 years. But we won't buy it, and I'll tell you why. I talk about it on the show all the time. Mm. Disney's free cash flow has grown like crazy. Mm -hmm. Their dividend hasn't moved. 1.4% dividend yield, and it's a higher beta stock than the market. So it used to be that you got low beta, high dividend. Dividend. Mm. Now you have low dividend, high beta. It's not for Well, they us. talked about operating income being impacted by their investments in their over-the-top services or streaming services in the future. Three of them. We have Disney Plus debuting in the back half of 2019. They would buy all of Hulu if it was up for sale. And ESPN Plus, they said they have one million subscribers since it launched in April. Slow start, but a ramp up, and they're seeing impressive growth. To me, if, they're pay if people are paying over $100 per person to get into a park for one yep. day, yep. and they're paying easily. Paying. That's an economic <laughs> indicator. Yeah, absolutely. It reflects oh, what sure. I was saying before. Great job prospects, uh, great increase in earnings. This is also a good example of how uh, old line companies are using tech to incorporate into their business. They're going to be able to go head-to-head -head with Netflix because they're going to have their own uh, direct-to-the-consumer model. Right. They have their own content. Yep. And so buy yep. Disney, short Netflix. The question is, what are they going to have to pay to buy that content? The, all the park money comes in one hand, goes out to buy the content. But that's why They'll you have pay to less free cash. They're paying less than Netflix is because they can do a lot right in-house there. No, but I'm the saying to buy legacy content. It's got to play out for us. Yeah. The dividend at 1.4%, yeah. they're enough. telling me they don't have the confidence in it. I'm, that's the way I'm viewing <laughs> I don't care for Bob Iger's politics, but they he's know. one of the best chief executives yeah. in America today. Buffett has never paid a dividend, by the way. Oh, no, no, no. Well, but the companies he owns pay dividends. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, absolutely. I don't know if you're reinvesting in a company of better places to spend your money like they are for the future. I don't think it's a dividend play. And they are buying back stock. Yeah, but I think the whole point with Buffett is that he <laughs> buys the companies that pay the dividend and gets the free cash flow. That's exactly the model we believe in. I have totally lost control <laughs> of the show which bears my name. <laughs> this is true. She started. Uh, oh. Lee's killing. <laughs> Check the big board. We've come back a bit. We're no longer down triple digits. We are down 90 points. Right there, 26,100. GE, ouch. 
An analyst says this thing's going down to $6 a share. It's certainly down now. Eight ninety. That is a nine and a half year low. Activision Blizzard's holiday forecast fell short. When you do that, the stock comes down, down twelve percent. Disappointing sales from Yelp. They're the online review guys, and they're looking into the future and forecasting a disappointing holiday quarter. Taken to the cleaners, down thirty percent. How about that? Restructuring big time at the Dow component, Procter and Gamble. Can you go through this again, Susan? Okay, so I know you love Tide detergent and Oral B toothpaste. I'm a that Tide they, pod they guy. Make, uh, yes, they make a lot of. So they're basically their biggest reorganization in 20 years, two decades. They're splitting into six business units, mostly geographic, but shareholder activism. Trying Capital, Nelson Peltz pretty much got his way because he says this, is a, this needs to be reinvigorated. Too many different business streams. He's right. I agree. And the stock has turned around. When you did this story 20 minutes ago, the thing was down. Now it's up. Not much, but it is but up. But it's up 25% in the last six months, and they've grown the dividend 62 years in a row. You know, he's good, uh, isn't he? He just loves <laughs> <laughs> dividend. Yeah. He's, he's what we do. He's got a bunch of supporters in the studio, by the way. Yeah, I'll give you kudos to you, son. Not bad. <laughs> the Lion Air crash yeah. in Indonesia. Technical problems with the Boeing plane may have been a factor. Apparently, the plane was plunging straight into the sea at 400 miles an hour. The pilots only had seconds to realize what was going on. Either shut off key systems or yank up on the control yeah, stick. Yeah, it was impossible. Couldn't do it. They couldn't do it. Uh, the stock is down a bit, but this is one big story. David. Yeah, absolutely. We just don't know what the problem was. Was it due to the sensors or were the operating manuals insufficient to instruct the pilots? Why didn't the airline, since they had the same problems on the prior flight, do something to fix it then? I think one takeaway is there's such a rush to get some of these new aircraft models out into operation that some of the final testing is done while operating. We've seen it with Airbus, too. Yeah, it's not good. just a Boeing issue. Not what you want to be hearing for Boeing. No. Uh, it's worth noting, though, that when the story first came out of the crash, the stock dropped 30 bucks. It came back up. Now, with more details today, it's only down $3. Yeah, that's true. So I think the market is responding better as they get more information about what Boeing's culpability may be. Do you be. want to anchor this show? <laughs> <laughs> Bonds and Company? The chair looks warm. How's the dividend? <laughs> How's the dividend? Here's the story. Harley Davidson Great goes dividend. electric. I'm not sure about this. <laughs> no. Does that, I mean, does I want a like, big throaty engine. Okay. Exactly. <laughs> but this is to attract the younger riders. Riders. And we know that Harley Davidson, their riders tend to skew older and they're buying less Harleys. So, uh, Young driver, uh, old driver. Who cares? You want a motorcycle. Well, you're, you're hoping you want, to sell bikes mm, for the next 30, 40 years. What, I used to drive a Triumph Bonneville 650. Oh, you think boy. I wanted a. <laughs> you think I wanted that? Get out of here. Come Still on. Still all American. <laughs> um, uh, McDonald's, can we see that real fast? Still in record territory. Again. Where are we now? Like I think every we're day at 186 week. on McDonald's. How about Incredible. that? Bonson, would you buy McDonald's at one? <laughs> yeah, it's actually funny because we did not see any of this up at all, but all these ones we're talking about are the big dividend growth names we love. I bought McDonald's at $50. It was paying 3%. Mm -hmm. Right. It's now at $180. It's paying 3%. They've grown the dividend 19 times since we bought it. That's true. McDonald's is the great free cash flow grower yeah. of the last 10 years. All-time high. I would absolutely keep buying it because they keep growing the dividend. They're telling you sales are good. Buy the dividend, the free cash flow growth. <laughs> David, I, I would love your recounting of history, but now at seven times sales, <laughs> right. 28 times earnings, you're paying more price to sales than you are for Google. Well, but, but, but you know, McDonald's this has never been priced off of on, gross guy. sales. It's never been priced <laughs> off gross sales. It's priced off the fact Wait, that hold on. We're about to get the, pre the, uh, the uh, tape from the president answering questions ah. just before he took off for Paris. Um, I do, show me Coca-Cola real fast because they're launching two energy. new energy, energy drinks. drinks. That's yeah. very important, very interesting. It's a crowded field, $49 per share.